Uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm so excited and privileged to be here again. Um, this is Kabuga Peter. Welcome back at once again on this YouTube channel uh, where we learn about Uganda and Luganda. Um, in today's video, uh, I'm going to take you through uh, Buganda's kingdoms, I mean, uh, Buganda clans. Uh, how many clans do we have in Uganda? In Uganda, when you talk about Buganda, what comes into your mind or what comes into everybody's mind is the king, that is Kabaka, uh, the queen, that is Nabagereka, the, the leadership of Buganda, uh, and the Luchiko, and how the king is connected to his people. Okay, so in Uganda, in order to differentiate people, some people from the category of other people, we have what we call clans. And we have terms and conditions in quotes which we follow in a particular clans. And again, in Uganda, a, part, a certain clan is or has uh, a certain work in the palace of the king. So today I'm going to give you those clans in Uganda, uh, we, we, those clans we have in Uganda, uh, and in, in, the future, in the future to come I'll give you the specific work or uh, responsibility for a given clan in the palace of the king. In Uganda we have clans, but um, as Baganda, if you follow under a certain clan, you are not allowed to marry a person who is also under that clan. However, much that person is not coming from the same family. Okay? <laughs> let, let me be clear in this. For example, let me use uh, countries. Let's say Uganda is a clan, Kenya is a clan, and Tanzania is a clan. Okay? If you are from a clan called Kenya, you are not allowed to marry a person from that very clan. Even if you find that person in another area. So, if you are from a clan called Enchima, that is a monkey, and you travel from Uganda and you go to America, you go to US, uh, you go to UK, you go to any country, and you find there another person from Uganda, from the same clan in Chima, that is a monkey, you are not allowed to marry that person. I think I'm clear in the, on that one. Let's say, um, me personally, I follow, I, I, I belong to Nchima clan. So if you are a person, if not, I mean, if you're not from Uganda, but you admire the Uganda custom and everything, and you say, I belong to Nchima clan. That disqualifies me from marrying you. <laughs> That's how strong it is. For example, uh, a person from Engari clan, he is not or she is not allowed to marry a person from Engari clan, even if that person is from Bunyero kingdom, even if that person is from Bugisu kingdom. But for him, when you ask the person that what is your tribe, he says, I'm from Ngari clan, and you are from Ngari clan of Uganda. You, in Uganda, you are not allowed to marry that person, even if the person is from different uh, tribe. Here is this man. In Uganda, we believe that any person who belongs to your clan, he is your father, he is your sister, he is... No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Any person who belongs to your clan, he is your father, he is your brother, she is your sister, she is your auntie. Okay? And then, and again, actually, for a person in Uganda, you only have two clans where you are not supposed to marry a person from. From your clan and from your mother's clan. Let's say me, personally, I'm from Jima clan. I don't marry people like Nakabuko, Natongo, Nagawa, uh, Namugerwa, um, Tam, you know, those names from, those people from Ujima clan. And again, my mother is from Ngabi clan. So, those people like Nansamba, Naluwega, uh, Namatovu, Nakachua, 
I do not marry them because they are my mother. They are my mother. Okay? So, in Uganda, I don't qualify to marry those people. So, you are not allowed to marry from two clans, from your very clan and from your mother's clan. That's all. Others, you can marry them. But again, still, we have some circumstances where you, cannot, uh, you are not allowed to marry some people according. Okay? So, I will come and go into details with time. You know, just keep on subscribing and watch more videos. You will see how you are not allowed to marry a person who is not from your clan and who is not from your mother's clan. Okay? So, we have more than 20 clans in Uganda. We have more than 20 clans in Uganda. We have Ensenene. Ensenene. So, some, some, some clans are not common to some people and some, they are, you know, they are difficult to find. But Ensenene, as you can see in the picture, that is what we call Ensenene. So, if you belong to that clan, you are not even allowed to eat that thing. For example, that animal, that plant, or that insect, or that bird. So, people from Nsenene clan, they are not allowed to eat Nsenene. We have Nsuma. Nsuma. It is a fish. It is a fish, but people from that clan, they are not allowed to eat it. It is eatable, but for them, they don't eat it. We have Enswaswa. Enswaswa. As you can see in the picture, it's, it's like a big lizard, you know, but it is not eatable in Uganda. So no one is allowed to eat it, but some tribes in Uganda, they do eat it. But for us in Uganda, we don't eat Enswaswa. But we use its skin to make a long drum in Galabi. That skin you see on a long drum. It's from an animal called Enswaswa. That animal you're seeing in the picture is called Enswaswa. So when it's grown up, we, we, we get it and we peel off the skin and we make a long drum. That is Enswaswa. We have Ente. Ente. That is a cow. A cow. So people who belong to this clan, they are not allowed to eat that animal. Okay, they are not allowed. We have Envuru. Envuru is an animal uh, live in water and on the mainland, but it is eatable. It is eatable, but it, those people who belong to it, they don't. They don't. So that is Envuru for you. We have Empologoma. Actually, Envuru it is a uh, hippopotamus. Then in Polokoma, it is a lion. A lion, it is not commonly known to be eaten, but some people do eat it. Okay? Yeah, in Polokoma, it is a lion. We have Namona, it is a bird. It is not eatable in Uganda. We do not eat it. So, I don't expect people from Namona clan saying that we you know we are not going to eat it because no one is there to eat that uh, that bad so it is not eatable um another one enkerewe enkerewe it is that small animal uh it looks like a squirrel <clears throat> but for it it is mostly found in trees climbing trees with a big tail jumping from one tree to another it is very tiny as you can see a squirrel that animal, it is called a Nkerewe. Mostly it is only, it is moving alone. It is not having that big, big company like you can see Obukorwa and all those stuff. But a Nkerewe, it is that small thing. Also here in Uganda, we do not eat it. We don't eat a Nkerewe here in Uganda. We have a Nyoni Nyande. A Nyoni Nyande. When we say a Nyoni, um, Enyoni is an airplane in Uganda. And again, Enyoni, when we say Enyoni here in glance, we mean something which is a bird. We mean a bird. Enyoni, Enyoni so and so, Enyoni so and so, we mean birds, not 
airplane. Okay? So here, a nyoni nyangi, or a nyangi, you can call it a nyangi. Uh, it is that white bird, mostly found near the, I mean, found on the shores of the lake. And uh, that white bird, which is commonly found um, with cows, it, it is taking off uh, ticks and all that stuff, that white bird. It is called a nyangi, and in Uganda, we don't eat it also. Okay? So, Someone may, may ask, why am I, I mean, uh, mixing Uganda with English? Let me try to ask, answer you. I'm mixing Uganda with English because there are those people who don't understand Uganda completely. And I need those people too. And those people who understand Uganda and English, but when they don't know the thing. So, what I do, I mix up English and Uganda so that I don't leave these people who don't understand Uganda behind. I go with them as I'm moving with those people who understand Uganda. Okay? I'm sponsored by Catholic Home and Interiors. Uh, look at that number, Pele Lord. Namlanda, you can call them on their phone number, which is scrolling down there. And another people who are sponsoring me, they are called maduka.com. You can visit their website. It is www.maduka.com. You can reach them out and you get all the planning things you need from their website and they can deliver countrywide and that is Uganda. They are called maluka.com and the other people they are called Catholic Home and Interiors. They do designing your rooms and houses. They install curtains, they have carpets, they have doormats, they have everything, bed covers and all that stuff. Um, You see, we have many clans and I can't put them all in one video. So let me end here for today. We had like five clans. And I will be giving you another video from the very, very clan where we ended, and that is in Yuninyangi. And we will start from there from the next video. Keep on subscribing, inform the other people to subscribe. We need more than 1,000 people here on this channel, and we keep on learning Logana. My name is Kapopila, I'm from Enchima clan. I would like to know you are from which clan. Ciao, ciao.